what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome down down in a hole where today we are talking about i got no idea what are we talking about buddy? spending money on stuff you don't want to spend money on oh jesus here we go <laughs> cool uh, pittsburgh pendulines hat by the way uh yeah that's exactly what that is oh it's not pittsburgh pendulines that's the toronto blue jays i why, oh, why did i see you take off a blue jays hat and put on a penguins hat no, I wow. took off a Blue Jays hat to put on another Blue Jays you know hat. Is, I'm looking at a picture, well, Stone Temple Pilots wrote a song about it. I'm looking at a picture of a photograph because I I can't see the TV. I can only see the TV in the monitor for the camera. Oh, uh, there's nothing going on up there. It's just like a blank dead screen. No, I mean me right here on the desk. So for me uh, to look at you, I'm looking at... You're on my TV right here, but I can't see this. I can't see the TV. But my camera yeah. can see the TV, which then displays on a monitor. <laughs> so I'm looking at like you through this, through that. So I yeah. see the triangle. <laughs> and then when you leaned in, I'm like, oh, that's the Blue Jays. So yeah, we're on the way to the wedding there last week. My buddy Dan got married, who is lovely bride Allison. And... Can you, like, that? <laughs> that is loud. <laughs> can you hear her in the tank? <laughs> yes, I can. Is that Kevin? <laughs> yeah. Kevin. Go to sleep. Your light's off. She needs to chill, bro. Holy crap. <laughs> I was like, who is, who has the the clogs on and is doing hopscotch right now? Oh, man, you should see, like, it's, let's just see. From where she tries to get up on a rock sometimes, she scratched the glass inside her tank. Oh, wow. That's a whole setup, too, man. I like that table oh, yeah. that you have her on, because it's like this credenza-looking thing, but it's actually built for a turtle tank, because it's got yeah, it's pretty holes cool. through I'm, it to, to do the pump and stuff. Yeah, I got the big filter on the one side at the bottom, and she loves it, man. How long does the uh, turtle live? Oh, she'll live 25, 30 years, yeah, cause if not more. Like, they can live up to probably 50 or 60 if they're healthy. Yeah, because Shelly's mom has one that Jason, Shelly's sister, Shelly's sister, Shelly's brother, um, found when he was a kid. And you're not supposed to take turtles home. But yeah. if it's going to get run over or something, so he scooped it and kept it. It's still there. And as long as the, the tank's just a little tank. And if, yeah. then they'll only grow to the size of their environment. So as long as they don't upgrade his tank, he'll stay the same size. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, Kevin, she's over there chilling because he got the big upgrade with the new units and the heat lights and all that stuff. And is that what you do? You shut off the heat lamp thing and then she goes to bed? Yeah. Yeah, right on. And I said, yeah, so like she knows, well, normally she knows your bedtime. Sometimes she's like this though. <laughs> Kevin. Go to bed, you wiener. <laughs> yeah, we were on the way to the wedding there last week, and of course the muffler separates. We're in the hammer lane right around Port Hope. Oh, I'm like, oh, this car just got really loud. So I'm like, okay, I still got air in the tires. I'm like, okay, wicked. The muffler pipe somewhere came apart. Yeah. You know. And it's the, the newer, and I jinxed it too, because the, like last week I was saying to Shelly too, like I bought that 2015 Civic brand new, had six, six kilometers on it. Yeah. And I've done nothing to it except oil changes. I've put fuel in the tank, new tires, spark plugs, front brakes. That's it. 208,000 K on that thing. So 208,000 kilometers on that car and nothing's happened to it. And then the muffler broke. So I was like, damn it. I didn't want that to happen. But do you uh, do you undercoat it every year? Uh my headset's messed up. Say again. Do you undercoat it every year? Uh, I I had it when I bought it, the Honda Diamond coated it. Whatever that is. They do like a spray thing. Yeah. Um and that was to last I believe they said uh seven years or so. Yeah. Uh, seven to ten. But I, I think they said ten. But I've huh. noticed there's a there is rust on the one fender. I've I noticed it like 
a month or two ago, there's actually a good chunk of rust behind uh, yeah. one of the back wheels. So I'm like, I'm going to probably do the crown rust treatment now. Cause I, it's, it's worth it. Cause what, cause that stuff basically like it surrounds the rust, it gets underneath it and like separates it from the good metal. Yeah. Yeah. And then that way you just keep that up and keep that stuff on there. The best thing to do is get it done in the summertime. Like some, like August and September is probably the best time to do it. So that way it can like spread. Right. Cause the, 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 the more in winter you are, like the thicker the liquid is. So it's, it's harder for it to, to work its way into the little crevices and shit. Yeah. Plus it'd be a lot easier to get a, an appointment at crown uh in the summertime because nobody's doing rust proofing right like i could imagine they must be bonkers in november it's i mean they're pretty busy all year round yeah yeah it's a good thing my mom uh i've done it we've done it to like older cars and stuff and i should uh actually get on that because i you know it can't hurt you know yeah and it, it's an older car now and it's only eight years old right but like i'm like yeah damn goddamn muffler that cost and, and, and again a new muffler um purchased and installed and it only it cost me 400 bucks so it's not bad buddy you know. when you look at the return on investment with that baby yeah because it's been good to you the guy we use is amazing and it's honda honda's honda's just awesome yeah i lost a battle with uh, dr bottle of dr pepper there a little month ago Oh, oh man! Oh, yeah, I remember you telling just me about that. Twist the cap, and it just went swirling while I'm driving. <laughs> I'm like, no! Oh, so it's yeah. just fun. but I'm just gonna buy a. I was talking to the mechanic, the same guy Jay, um, that works on all my stuff. Uh, the brake, the right rear brake on the other Honda, the 2003. Um, the brake lines blew off that. A couple weeks ago took it and got it fixed a couple days same thing with the muffler broke on the weekend dropped it off sunday night left a message on the phone for him he got in the next morning and had it fixed by noon oh yeah they probably just had to weld something together he, it needed a muffler he said it broke right off at the thing so there was nothing to work with like i was hoping it was kind of broken in the middle where you could almost cuff it and yeah. patch it but he's like no the, it was the muffler like came apart so they needed a new muffler but I mean, four hundred bucks. You figure it takes a couple hours to put it in, hundred bucks an hour, and then the yeah. muffler itself is probably a two hundred dollar thing. And that happened to the again. That happened to the two thousand three Honda. The muffler broke, and then the front of the pipe up by the cat broke. Yeah. <laughs> a couple months later, so you get it done in sections, right? So I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's probably gonna stuff's gonna start happening to that Honda, which is a shame because it's. You know who has money to spend on stuff like that but no nah, dude you're that's no dude i've got a 2006 that is rock solid yeah i'll put money into a honda all day that 2003 is my grandma's old car so i'm not getting they, rid of it front ends all brand new it had a clunk in the right front tire when you return into the left and loading the right yeah you hear, so i took that and got that looked at it needed struts and whatever else shock or something and he's like uh do you want to do the whole thing i'm like yeah i do the whole thing <laughs> so you know thousand. you are a mechanic's best friend bro. yeah and it's like you know what it, grandma brought that car she bought that car brand new so all the stuff i'm fixing has never been fixed before it's all 20 years yeah. old so it's got yeah. it's got 20 year old shocks springs struts everything in the front it's all 20 years old so what am i going to do replace like one ball joint only to have the other side go out two months later. Like he just, the whole thing's all brand new under the front. That's so awesome. You know, so I'll drive that car anywhere. And then the back brake went out last week, but he fixed it. Same deal. Dad did a couple of the other ones a few years back. So, you know, as, as stuff falls apart, you, you get it fixed. And, you know, we don't drive it hard. And that little 2003 is wicked, man. Like I'll jump in that thing and take it anywhere. <laughs> that's awesome you know same with the 2015 honda's for the win gang oh dude we got three of them yeah i got two i had three but i didn't need one so i sold it but we got two so we have a what do you have the two you have uh 2017 sedan and then i've got my 06 si right oh yeah the s yeah that that's the red one right the 06 yeah yeah so we've got the 2003 civic we've got the 2015 civic and Shelly's got the 2005 Honda 600 so, RR. 
between that one goes a lot faster than my civics between the two of us the, man the we cover four generations of honda civics oh really yeah so my my the 2003 wouldn't have been in the same no that's a, that would have been a seventh gen my 06 is an eighth gen your 2015 is a ninth gen the 2017 is a tenth gen nice so, so we cover four generations of civics bro we got to get them out for a photo op we really freaking should i never thought of that and make like take some photos like like wash them get them all washed up and like take them over to oh the, the, like ontario yeah. park or something yeah the 2003 is a, a little bit rough it's got some pretty good uh paint on it to patch the rust it's all right buddy. But you can do crazy things thing, with I photo think. editing i i know yeah I, know some shit. I, I mean i you would just I mean? leave it stock it's all scratched yeah. up and got a dent in here and there and who cares ghosted out we lights. should so you know the car stuff so like all the little things too nothing major but like with the the headlights getting all muddy and gunky and just like ghosting out is there like a there, trick to cleaning them up there's uh the, i saw this one thing going around the internet people were using bug spray but oh like off bug spray something like that yeah because i know what you did Rachel you just bought, new, you just bought new headlights <laughs> <laughs> that was that was your solution by the whole new whole new thing yeah um yeah i know there's like somebody said toothpaste i've, I've heard that before there's like to, um, to really get in there and, and clear the grime out the other like the the other thing you could do too is you could get like um like a can of clear coat okay and just like kind of do do like a clear coat spray over top in the beginning like once you like you can use like a like a wet sandpaper to sand them down oh okay there's they make a kit there's like mcguire's makes a pretty good like headlight restoration oh, kit they with do? all that stuff i was gonna it. say i have a mcguire's like what do they have like that putty wax block or whatever they have uh, yeah to like get grime out of the glass and stuff um mcguire's makes some cool shit yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah that makes you should sense. follow them on Instagram, buddy. They'd make some awesome stuff. Oh, they kind of, of course they have an Instagram page. So they do have a headlight kit that they have a kit for everything. Oh shit! Well, that'll be what I'm doing. Maguire's, yeah, so Maguire's, and Jay at the Canadian shop. Tire, buddy. Yeah, I love that <laughs> section. So many weird bottles and stuff. But, they, but they've got everything. They've got like yeah. sprays and fuck, like just the, everything. Because I asked the mechanic when I was talking about losing that, that fight with the Dr. Pepper, and he's like, just Dawn dish soap, man. Scrub brush, just let it rip. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I always started thinking about like upholstery cleaners and stuff. He's like, yeah, you don't want to use Dawn to wash your car because <laughs> you'll take her right down to the, yeah. you know, unless, like he said, he goes, it's great if you, if you wash your paint with your actual car with Dawn, it's fine as long as you're doing a restoration. Because yeah, you are gonna, enough. you are gonna peel all the wax like right off it. <laughs> so you're gonna yeah. want to do a, a top down, like you're gonna want to tear it down and then build it back up again. But yeah, yeah. he said for the upholstery, it's just dawn sunlight, just a, a good old fashioned dish detergent and a bucket of hot water. I'm like, that makes sense. But it's all these little things. I gotta get in there too because the hood's got some chips and they're getting a little bit rusty. So I gotta get the acetone out there and chip the rust out and maybe you know tack the. Just keep that shit from get spreading. Get some of that. Uh, get some of that crown rust proofing spray. They like in a in like a the, bar you can, a can. You can get it in a can. Yeah, like an aerosol, and you just spray it. On it'll do that. What? It'll do that for you. Because that's what that's what rust proofing is. It's just like I said, it's just like a liquid, and it like surrounds the rust, and then kind of like separates it from the metal. Mm. And kind of keeps that protective layer on top of the good metal yeah because i know like with the work truck years ago i used to get the acetone and just like a nail file and scrub the rust off and then just use trim clad to yeah you do that for too. rock chips like on the just canopy put, just and make, stuff. like just put like a clear coat spray or something over top of it yeah just to keep the rust from spreading some of the stuff yeah. especially some of the work trucks you see they just bleed and rust I'm like if all you guys yeah. did would take a couple hours every spring just to get the the rust out of there from the winter time obviously with all the rocks and sand they throw on the road for traction take a lot of chips sometimes yeah and oh yeah you can stop that rust from bleeding because it's it's a rust of the speed through everything especially in ontario like i'm you yeah. know we get jealous of these guys down in texas and florida that don't have road salt 
<laughs> I'm like, what do you mean you got no rust on that car? Oh, it's 30 years old. Here, man. That, we have, they put that liquid rust on the road. That brine. That's, yeah, that's like, it has like the same, same chemical makeup as rust. Oh, nice. <laughs> like it's, it's deadly. Like the worst thing ever is if you have to follow one of those things. Yeah. Pull over and wait. Yeah, pull over and wait. Turn around, take a different route. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is like this grimy, slimy crap that apparently yeah. lets prevents ice from forming on the road. But I think ever since they started using that stuff, it's actually more dangerous. It's liquid salt on steroids. Yeah. Because I've had more problems on the big road. I find like with that stuff there it seems to just create black ice sometimes yeah i'm like this like this tire path where the tire where people are driving is ice and if i drive three feet over here kind of between the ruts you're on just a wet pavement but people yeah. it's it's heating exactly. it's heating up and it's freezing because that's what happens well you got to think like the salt when they when they spray the salt down like it, it penetrates through right mm -hmm. whereas this stuff they spray on the roads before anything happens so at some point yeah you're gonna get a layer of stuff that's not safe to drive on and if it gets colder then that's even worse yeah and then the hot then the road it's a high travel road yeah it heats up it freezes faster when it's hot why they use hot water to resurface a hockey rink because yeah. hot water freezes quicker so the road's a little bit warm and then that shit's just building up and you can see it sometimes you're driving on it and it's actually like lumpy yeah and you can like a, it almost feels like a dirt road on the 401 sometimes because of the, the ice building up in the in the driving lane like i'd rather yeah, drive sure. in the fast lane just because nobody's over there and it's not doing that yeah you know, it sucks man well, buddy, I gotta take off. Yeah, man. Apparently, we need to do a photo shoot with all the Hondas. All the Hondas. We got all four cars and one motorcycle. That would be a wicked photo op, right? That'd be there. very cool. So I got I got black and blue, and Shelly's got the red bike, and then you guys have years of. Both. I have rainbow unicorn colors and rainbow unicorn colors. Yes, it's like mystical, glittery, and invisible. That's right. We, nobody sees you coming, buddy. No. <laughs> You'll hear me, though. Oh, hell yeah. I think that's six, <laughs> that thing's got six speeds, right? Yeah. It's a six speed? Yeah, mine's only got five. Mine's a four-door old guy car. Yeah, man. You got my the two-door like, six-speed car. My third gear is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you let me drive it the one day. I pulled it around so you could load your guitars in from the gig. You'll, I'll let you take it for a rip on the 401 one day. Yeah, I might need to do a real drive. We'll go to Westport and back. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good evening. And if you're watching, thanks for doing so. Thanks for chilling with us. You know what? We like Honda. We do. We really do. <laughs>